So let's get started folding the hawk dart. So like in the first two paper plane videos, we're going to start by folding the paper in half. And it's really important that you get the corners lined up and try to get your first folds as perfect as possible. That way it looks nicer in the end. So I'm lining up the corners and then looking on the center to make sure it's lined up. And once I feel I got a pretty good setting, I'm going to start by creasing the corners gently. And then increasing the pressure once I've got a good fold. We'll reinforce that crease. And then we're going to open it up. Now we're going to take this whole top part and bring it down towards the left side. Like this. Now this is where getting everything aligned properly gets a little trickier. Especially in the corner. So Let's see if I need to bring it down a bit or bring it up a bit. It's too far down. And that looks pretty close, so let's go with it. So crease the corner, crease the top. And the more you practice, the better you'll be. And then we're going to reinforce that crease. Then we're going to repeat the same step on the other side. So we're going to bring the top down to the right side, lining it up. See, it looks like I should bring it down a bit more. I'll have the crease from the other side to help guide me. Maybe up a bit more. Not too far up. And Force it there on the folding the corners. And then let's make our crease. And open it up. Now the next step, flip your paper over and then bring the top part down. And we're going to bring it down to where our creases are. basically folding this part in half. So let's line it up. So that the center of the folds that we were making is right here in the middle. And then reinforce the crease. Then we're going to fold the paper over and press down towards the middle. And you'll see your paper pop up like that. So now we're almost halfway there. What we're going to do is bring these parts down. So you see these two folds here? Put your hands behind them and bring it down towards the center. And then push this part down. So it'll fold into itself naturally if you got the first folds uh, right. And you should end up with that. Now we're going to take each corner and fold it up. So there's two flaps here, but we're going to pick the top one. <clears throat> and we're going to line up this side with the center. This plane's a little more difficult to fold. It took me a couple of tries to get it right. Oops. And then we're going to repeat the same thing on this side. Bring it up towards the middle. And if you guys have any questions, leave me a comment below. Or take a picture of what you folded and post it on Instagram so we can check it out. At Toys Fun and Games. So you should have that. Now for the next step, we're going to fold this part towards the center diagonally. So you want to line it up as best you can. The 
folding is going to get a little bit harder now because we, we're dealing with a lot of paper. Once you got a good crease, get it going. Reinforce it there with the tip of your finger. Same thing on the other side. Try to keep the paper together, especially at the top corner there. And bring it down. And then make your crease. And we're going to release it. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bring this corner to the center. So we're going to do that. What we just did with the top, we're going to do it with the bottom. Flatten it out there. Make your crease. Do the same thing on the other side. Try to keep the paper together. And once you got it, make your crease, press down. This paper plane, you're going to have to do at a table because you won't need the sturdiness of the table to apply pressure. And then we're going to fold these parts here at the top down like this. So these are all pre-folds that we're doing so that in the end we're going to make the nose of the plane. Alright, now bring them back up. So it should look like that, what we started off with. We want it to look like this. So this is what we should end up with. And I don't know if you can see, but there's a diamond shape in the middle. So we're going to want to keep an eye on that diamond shape as we do this next fold, because it gets a little tricky. So we're going to bring in both sides together. And remember, keep that diamond shape. So we're folding the top and the bottom. You see the diamond there? And then we're going to bring the sides down towards the middle keeping our diamond shape and then you'll have these two flaps sticking up and then we're going to fold those flaps down towards the nose of the plane just like that so this part will look like a kite in the end so let me do it one more time so you're looking at this we have the diamond shape in the middle you're going to bring it together and you're going to pinch these sides so that they stick up like that and then fold them down. That was the part I had the most trouble with. So we're almost done. So once we have this diamond kite shape in the center, we're going to flip the paper over and we're going to fold this part down, line it up with the center, and you'll have that kite shape again on the opposite side. So let's make that fold. Then we're going to fold the paper in half, like this. Reinforce that crease. There's going to be a lot of paper right here, so press down. And now we're going to make our wing. So we're going to bring this part down. And try to line it up. You can use this part as a guide. So this side will be easy to fold because there's not a lot of paper in the back. And here you're getting a little thicker. You just have to press down and flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So bring this part down. Now we can line it up with the other side. And that part's easy and then this part gets a little harder. And now we're going to make the rudders, so we're going to fold this part up like that and flip it around. Do the same thing to the other side. And now we have our hawk dart. So the rudders out at 90 degrees and this part 
and that's what it should look like. And then in the center you have your kite shape. And underneath it'll look like this. So you can throw this plane hard or you can throw it lightly. Um, it'll do tricks. You can play with the rudder designs, do different folds. But uh, this one is a classic design that I hope you'll enjoy. Ready?